Hi! We are back in Max's studio today for two reasons. One, because I like hanging out with her, and two, her studio is a lot closer to my house than my own studio is. Today we're shooting something kind of cool. My fiance and I did a fun little day night activity where we made our own hard seltzers. We went to the wine factory in New West where we made our own hard seltzers. So we did everything from the fermentation process to choosing our flavors, and we designed our own custom labels and we got to can them and now we have a whole shelf of seltzers in our fridge and no room for food but it was totally worth it if you want more information about this experience check out the link in the description below this is not sponsored we just discovered this through instagram and i'm really glad we tried it out um but anyway decided that you know we put so much work into these seltzers not really it was really easy and fun to make so i thought it would be a great opportunity to do a beverage focused photo shoot and also show you how a simple setup can really go a long way and give you versatile results. Because it turns out that almost all of these setups only required one light. I'm back to using my own speed lights today because I wanted to use the equipment that I already have and really just prove to myself that, you know, you don't need anything advanced to achieve good photos. So here are the inspo shots that I have today. Some of these are more of like a lighting inspo or a pose inspo, um, but I'll go through them as we go along. Let's get started. So there's two flavors of the seltzers that I'm going to be photographing today. One flavor is mango hibiscus and then the other one is strawberry lemon hibiscus tea. So this is the inspo for the first shot and I basically just want to recreate the whole composition having the hand, well my hand, pouring the liquid from the can into a glass and then the fruit being featured on the table with some ice cubes on the side and then the curtain background. And I wanna highlight the fruit so I've cut up a slice of mango and then the other props that I have for this shot is a ribbed glass, paper straw, and then some ice cubes. But instead of using real ice cubes, I actually purchased these fake, well, they're reusable ice cubes, but they work really well because they look like ice cubes. They are like a perfect shape and they don't melt. So I was able to use them in the drink itself and then also have it as a prop on the table. So the pose for this shot was of me pouring from the can into the glass. And then the lighting setup was just one speed light and it was on the right side, high up, pointing down as per usual for that hard light look. And then I had a reflector on the opposite side to not only bounce light onto the scene, but it also helped with the reflectiveness of the can because without the reflector, it just was reflecting obviously what was in front of it and it made the can look kind of dull, but with the reflector, the white was able to give the can a bit more of a highlight. And here's how the shot turned out. So the next shot is highlighting the other flavor of seltzers, which is the strawberry lemon biscuits tea. So this is the inspo for this shot that we're doing. I wanted to emulate the moody lighting and then the overall setup with the props kind of laid out. Um, and then instead of the stereo, I'll be holding the can. So the concept for this shot is to highlight the branding. So the brand of our the brand of our seltzers is Dancing Devil, which is actually just an inside joke between me and my fiance. We like to dance and be goofy at home, and that's just like a nickname that we came up with. And so I thought it would be really cute to name our seltzers after that. The props that I'm using are all dancing related, so I'm including disco balls, um, vinyl records, and a pair of high heels. And then the backdrop that I have here is just a red curtain that I got from Valley Village. That's a really great place to source props, by the way. So this shot actually took the longest to set up because I could not figure out where I wanted the heels um, for them to look good. And then same with the disco ball. So I just played around with that a lot. Also, I was finding that there was a lot of empty space near the top. So I was figuring out how to fill that space. So the lighting for this one also contributed to how long this shot took to get. No, I'm just kidding. Like I said before, a lot of these setups are just one light and this shot is also a one light setup. I actually got really lucky. I didn't move the light at all from the previous shot and I just did like a test shot after I set up all the props and I was like, oh my God, this looks really good. So I just kept it the way it is. So it was still just the one light on the right side, high up and then pointing down at the scene. I didn't use a reflector for, for this shot because I wanted a bit more of like that darker moody 
feel. So that's kind of what I'm for creating this shot. Um, Max actually has like this starburst filter. It just creates like that like shiny, like star like effect thing on whatever reflective surface or product that you have in the shot. Um, and honestly, it only worked sometimes. Like it would catch the light in one shot and then like even if I didn't move anything, it like wouldn't catch in the other one. But when it does work, it is perfect. And we actually managed to get some of the starburst effect on the disco ball and on the can as well. So this third shot is featuring the strawberry flavor once again. So these are the inspo shots. I want a combination of these two. So in this first photo, I want to recreate this pose with like the butler handing the drink over on a silver platter and then the second shot is really just for like kind of the lighting. So again, a bit more of a moodier lighting um, and then the curtain backdrop is the same. So the props that I have for this are a blazer for like the sleeves and then the white gloves and a silver platter and of course the drink. I know how ridiculous I look in this getup. I actually feel like I'm doing a magic show because so I'm like <laughs> in front of it. But it worked so well and I'm so happy with the shot. So the lighting I kept exactly the same as the previous two shots. The only adjustments I made are really, really slight. So it was just kind of moving the, the light a bit further away from the table and adjusting the angle of where the light was pointed. Honestly, just play around with it and see what look you're going for. So either you want brighter lighting or a bit moodier lighting. Um, and how much light you want on the background versus how much light you want on the product. Just play around with it and see what you like. So after doing some test shots, I thought it needed some something a little extra. So, so I just added some fruit on the can and again, played around with the placement of it to see where it looks the most natural or where it made sense. And I really feel like it completed the shot. I absolutely love this shot. It was one of my favorites of the day. And I honestly didn't intend for it to give off this like theater vibe, but it did. And I just rolled with it and I loved it. So I originally was not going to do this variation shot, but I wanted to give the mango flavor its own feature. So I kept the setup basically the same with just the one light on the side. And then I just swapped out the red curtain with a yellow fabric curtain backdrop. With the lighting, I just moved the light further or closer to the table and just adjusted the position. So the adjustments to the light position just created different feels um, and obviously the different lighting for each shot. So just played around with that and see what I liked. And as for the poses, I just tried out a bunch of different ones. So I had the drink poured into a glass um, and a slice of the mango in the drink on the platter and then choosing the can with the glass and then pouring the drink from the can into the glass from a high height so you get to see more of like the action shot of the liquid going into the glass. But we failed at first, um, but then we just kept trying and we got it right. So for this last shot, I wanted to do a big group shot with multiple cans of the two different flavors. Here's the inspo shot for that. I wanted to emulate the placement of the drinks and then a bit of the lighting as well. So for the lighting, I just have the one light on the right side and then a bounce on the other. I first tried it with just the white side, but then Max gave me the idea to flip the reflector over and use the gold side just to give it a bit more of a warm glow. The setup looked fine and for, you know, depending on what you're intending, it'll work, but I just felt like it was kind of boring. Um, and so for this final shot, I decided to just add in an extra light. So I wanted to incorporate the stream of light on the background like I did in the last video. So with the assistance of Max, we added a second speed light to the mix and just having it point towards the backdrop to create that stream of light. And then being the genius that she is, Max suggested pointing the speed light towards the drinks, so towards the products, and we created this masterpiece. Okay, it's not really a masterpiece, but I ended up being really happy with this shot because that type of lighting just created highlight that the shot needed.
So despite how long it took me to do the shoot today, efficiency is something I value greatly. So when it comes to creating a beautiful website quickly and easily, I'm a huge fan of Zyro. Not only do they offer some of the most affordable plans on the market, they provide you with hundreds of templates that are ready to use and easily customizable with just a few clicks. There's no design skills or coding required. You can just drag and drop and add photos, text, whatever you need to create the website that you need. On top of that, any website or online stores created by Zyro load extremely fast. Fast loading speeds gives users a great experience, leads them to browsing more on your website and helps you rank better on search engines. They also have mobile responsive design so your website will automatically adapt to mobile view without you having to make your own adjustments. Give it a try with Zyro's limited time deal. Click on the link in the description below or use my code Aileen Choi for an exclusive discount and three months free and a free domain on any yearly plan. Thank you to Zyro for sponsoring this video. So that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've tried any of these setups. I'd love to see the shots that you've created. Feel free to send me a DM on Instagram with those photos or send me an email. And last but not least, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content and want to see more stuff like this in the future. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Oh my god!